Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Postman tutorial, we are going to learn about the responses in Postman and we'll try to analyze the different formats of the response of any of the API requests within Postman and try to understand a little bit more detail about the responses. Okay, so let's go to collections here and within the collection, say for example, if I go back to a get request, which is basically request and getting the users, right? So let me move in here. And if I simply say, for example, I hover over the test URL, right? I have changed this current value. Let me go to the globals and change it to the proper value here okay and click on save so that this variable gets saved i go to the request again over over and you'll see the current value appears here okay and in the initial value I, in order to explain the type of variable and the initial and current value i have changed it right so but anyways when you use the postman request current value is used if it is present if it is not then it is it falls back to the initial value right so whichever initial value will be there so now here if i go ahead and trigger this particular request let's try to visualize what the response is all about right so we basically go ahead and see that we have got this response right so 200 okay and the time that it took basically right and the size okay so now in the body okay if we simply go ahead and scroll up so now in the body you will see that we have pretty formatted JSON, right? So by default, the postman recognized that this is a JSON format, right? The response is JSON and you will see it has by default chosen JSON format. There are different other formats. So basically, if I simply want to change it to text or you know change any other format i can simply go ahead and change it if we by default it will be auto so depending on what response is being received by that particular api call that will be pretty formatted right so when we say pretty formatting pretty formatting will format this particular json in a very good looking format which is easily which is easy to read right so you can easily see that this particular uh, json has these particular um, you know key value pairs and then there is a dictionary basically the list of or array of data within which there are multiple you know ids with different data set right now usually json will look like this format right so if you go to the raw format you will see the json will look like this right which is not easily readable but within postman you have the option to see the raw format of json as well pretty format will be by default it will select or automatically select if it is a json it will format accordingly if the response is xml you will see that automatically xml will be chosen and pretty formatted here within postman as well right similarly if there is a plain text that up that appears you will see the text has been selected or html that appears the html will be selected accordingly right now if you go to preview what exactly is preview in preview you will see that simple you know preview uh, it makes more sense when you have more of a html which can be visualized in a browser format right so for example if i simply say duplicate this okay and here i say google.com right and then simply send this particular request so here you'll see that it's pretty formatted right and then by default automatically you'll see now because this is html response automatically postman has been able to identify that this is postman this is html and automatically html has been selected in this drop down in the raw format raw html in the preview if you go now you will see that the preview of almost the similar sort of google page is available here because it's it, it is html and can be visualized in the postman easily if it is an html request you will see all of it is basically available in preview okay now what is this visualize okay the next thing important thing is about visualize so let's go ahead to the previous request and see about the visualize so postman provides the ability to visualize the response data based on the code that you write so you can write your own html and css code and then visualize the data that in the tabular format in the graph in heat map so there are a lot of possibilities that are available but you have to write your own code in order to visualize the data that is sent into the response so if i send this particular request you will see in the pretty format or basically the response is that within this data array i'm getting some sort of data right so 
which has id email first name last name avatar image uh, location etc then there is another id so by default this is not very visual if i go to preview i can't you know see in a very good format because this is json it's not an html so preview won't be available very clearly but in postman i can go ahead and write my own code and then fetch the data that is being returned here and display in any visual format that i want to display it like okay for that what i have to do is i have to go to the tests right and then i have to define a simple template so here i'll cover this separately this is a little bit advanced topic but just to give you an overview what happens in the visualize that's why i'm covering this here as well so that you understand what exactly this visualize tab is all about so in the template you'll see there is a little you know html code for table and then in the table i have written some of the headings basically so id email first name and last name right because here if i go to the response you will see i'm getting id email first name last name i can also add avatar right so, so for example i can also go ahead and add you know avatar so i'll add another column there and i'll say I also want avatar to be displayed then similarly here what we are doing we basically iterating because there is a in the response you will see that we are getting different response different data sets so one two so we have to iterate and then display or visualize the data accordingly right so here we are for each basically response and then response dot data why because you will see this is the response and then within the response there is a data tag wherein we are getting all of this data so that is why dot data here and then here we are displaying all of it right so if we want to display the avatar as well so i'll simply add one more and we simply put in the avatar there. okay so tag there after last name okay and then there's simply a visualizer so this is basically a variable that we have defined and then we are simply visualizing so we there is a method visualizer dot set and then setting the template and then displaying or basically fetching the response from the json right and then visualizing it right so that's the only thing we have to do now if i go ahead and send this request and go to visualize right you will see that all of the data here is easily visible here in a tabular format that's the benefit and advantage of the visualize tab in postman okay now for initial sort of testing an api this is not very frequently used okay visualize but it is always good to understand what all features are available in a particular tool right so in future say for example you are working in an api testing and there is a requirement you actually know that there is something like this in postman and then if you know that there is something like this particular feature and you have a specific requirement in your project then you can easily go ahead and explore more about it and you implement it right so that is why i'm covering all of these response possibilities within postman and what all can be done basically so pretty raw preview visualize and what all is the relevance of each of these this will help you in your projects as well as in your any postman and api interview questions as well so that's all for this particular video i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching